Hopefully, as discussed in previous videos, you've done some mental practice sitting on a motorcycle of shifting, stopping, and basic cornering. But before we practice these things on a running rolling motorcycle, let's remember that our safety valves are to squeeze the clutch to remove engine power from the rear wheel and to hit the engine kill switch with our right thumb shutting the engine off if we have to without removing our hand from the handlebar. We're going to need markers in an empty parking lot so save your empty drinking bottles fill them up with water so they won't blow away loosen the caps so that if you run over them they will crush instead of becoming an obstacle. In exercise six we're going to practice shifting, stopping, and weaving. If you still have the parking lot set up from exercise five you've got five markers down each of the long sides with two markers on each of the short sides. On the long sides they're 40 feet apart or four parking spaces apart. To set up for exercise six just move the two from each of the short ends over to create start and stop points on the one side of the parking lot. Then what we're going to do is ride here looking at the map from the upper right hand corner up the long side of the parking lot shifting to second gear then stabilizing our speed and then coming to a stop at the other double cones at the other end. And there we'll get rolling again and on our way back we're going to weave between the cones outside the first one inside outside inside outside pressing on the handlebar to make the motorcycle move at the end of that we're going to squeeze the brake a little to slow down but not stop roll around to the other side and stop where we began the exercise we're going to accelerate up the long side of the parking lot getting the motorcycle up to a speed where it wants to be in second gear and upshift to second gear then we're going to hold the throttle open for a little while stabilizing our speed at about 20 mile an hour so remember that is slip the clutch as you open the throttle to get moving and then when it's time to shift it's close, squeeze, lift, slip, open. Remember stopping is in with both hands and then down with both feet putting your left foot to the ground first. Practice it that way. Hands, then feet, left foot to the ground all the while looking up at a target well ahead. On your way back you're going to weave between the cones on the other side of the parking lot. So remember outside the first cone, inside outside. So to move the motorcycle to the right you're going to press on the right handlebar. Move the motorcycle left you're going to press on the left handlebar. This works best if you get your speed up. Maybe shift into second gear, hold that throttle steady, not on and off the throttle, and press, 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 press. Look well ahead. Don't look down at the markers that you're going around. Look way up into the distance and use your peripheral vision to see the markers. Position your spotter well past the stopping area. They can watch to make sure you're getting your speed up, to make sure that your knees are against the tank and your head and eyes up as you approach the stopping area. They can watch to make sure that you're doing the both hands, both feet, left foot to the ground method of stopping. That you're keeping your eyes up on a target even when you're stopping and not looking down at the markers or your controls. They can also advise you on whether or not your throttle seems to stay smooth as you go through the weed. Do it over and over and over until you've got these techniques down as described. In exercise seven we're going to practice our cornering technique. We're going to move our four markers back to the short sides of the parking lot recreating our rounded rectangle. And then we're going to ride around all those markers in second gear this time slowing before the corners. So where you see the yellow arrows we're slowing with both brakes but not squeezing in the clutch lever. We're going to finish our slow before the corner, reopen the throttle, look through the corner and press enough to get through it. Get the motorcycle moving and up in second gear and keep your knees against the tank, your head and eyes up. And hold that throttle open and steady until it's time to slow and then it's apply both brakes. Finish your slow, reopen the throttle, turn your head and look all the way through the corner, press on the handlebar in the direction of the turn. important that you keep your head and eyes up, your knees against the tank, slow with both brakes before the corner, reopen the throttle, turn your head and look all the way through the corner, press on the handlebar enough to make the turn.
Turn your head and look all the way through the turn. By the time you're halfway through that corner, you're looking all the way up to the end of the long straight. Stop every now and then to talk to your spotter, review your technique, and reverse your direction. In exercise 8, cornering and weaving, we're going to combine the cornering exercise with weaves performed on the long sides of the parking lot. So outside the first cone on the long sides, inside, outside, inside, outside, then slow as before, before the corner, open the throttle, look through the corner, and press enough to get there. Same thing on both sides. Remember to slow before the corner after you're done with the weave and reopen the throttle before you look and press. Use the same technique for cornering. Slow, open, look and press that you used in exercise 7. But now we're weaving between the cones on the long sides of the parking lot. So outside the first cone, press right, press left, press right slow at the end of the long stretch before opening the throttle, looking and pressing through the corner. Keep your knees against the tank, keep your head and eyes up. You want to look at least two markers ahead of what you're going around. Use your peripheral vision to see the, the markers, but keep your head and eyes up, looking well ahead. Don't look down at the cones as you go around them. Stop every now and then to review technique and switch direction. You could easily spend 20 minutes or longer on each of these exercises. Don't skip any exercises. Don't move on until you've got the skill mastered. It's very important to the building block process of learning that we learn these skills in order and completely before we start tacking other things on. And don't forget to click to subscribe and to click to buy your car suck gear.